Welcome back to The Real Deal on NPD with me, Myra. Today, we're diving into a topic that many of us can relate to, and that's dealing with a narcissistic coworker. We have encountered that person, mm, that one person in the office who thinks that they are better than everyone else. So look, navigating in the workplace can be challenging, especially when you're dealing with a whole bunch of difficult personalities. One particularly challenging personality type is uh, the one that causes strife in the office, and that's the narcissistic coworker. They live to start some mess. So look, narcissists in the workplace, they can be manipulative, self-centered, often engage in behaviors that undermine the team and the team productivity. Uh, they always start some mess so nothing can get done because there's some mess going on in the background. So look, it's important to be aware of the signs of a narcissistic coworker and how to effectively handle and even neutralize their attempts to sabotage your work and your reputation because you know how they want to come after your reputation. It's in their own handbook. So look, we've all dealt with our fair share of very annoying coworkers, but these narcissists, these folks, they're always talking about themselves, hogging the spotlight and uh, making everything about them. You know how they do. I know you know how they do. Look, I know it sounds familiar, but here are 10 classic examples of the narcissist coworker that you might recognize in your office today. Let's talk about it. Number one, the constant bragger. This person never misses an opportunity to talk about themselves and their accomplishments and to show off all of those achievements they have. Number two, the attention seeker. They're always seeking compliments, always want some praise and validations from other people to make themselves feel better. Number three, the credit thief. This person is happy to take credit for your work and your ideas without a second thought. They don't have any remorse. Number four, the drama king or queen. Everything's a big deal. They love to stir up drama and keep the spotlight on them. Number five, the rule breaker. They don't think the rules apply to them. They'll do whatever it takes to get what they want. Uh-huh. Number six is the manipulator. They use charm and manipulation to get their way and make others feel guilty and obligated. Number seven, the dismissive critic. So they're quick to criticize you. Uh-huh, but they can't handle any feedback about themselves. Number eight, the boundary crosser. They're invading your personal space, asking personal questions, pushing your boundaries. They're the ones in your desk, you know, and in your office without permission. Number nine, the gossip. Spreads rumors and talks behind people's backs and uh, they create drama and more drama. They're two-faced. Number 10, the victim. They play the victim to avoid responsibility and to gain sympathy from others. These narcissists, yeah, they love attention, even if it's negative. So while you can't control their little behavior, you can control how you respond. Ignoring their attempts to prove that they're the best, that's the healthiest thing for yourself and for them. It's really the healthiest thing for them. Dealing with a narcissistic coworker can be challenging. It's important though to handle the situation professionally and to maintain a positive work environment. You don't wanna have to get stuff started in the work environment. So look, here are 10 ways to effectively manage the narcissistic coworker. Number one, set boundaries. Let them know up front. Mm -mm, you nobody to be played with. So clearly communicate your expectations and your limits and establish boundaries with this individual. Number two, stay calm and composed. Remain composed to avoid escalating conflicts with this narcissist because they want to start a conflict. Number three, document interaction. So they're probably keeping a record on you. Yeah, so you can keep a record on them and their little behavior. Number four, seek support. Consult with a manager or HR or someone you trust for advice on how to handle the situation. Number five, focus on your work. Stay focused on your tasks and responsibilities. That minimizes, you know, interactions with this person. Number six, avoid confrontation. Refrain from engaging in arguments or confrontations with the individual to prevent further conflict. They want to start some mess. Number seven, practice empathy. Let's try to understand these individuals and why they do this stuff. And let's approach the situation with empathy. Number eight, maintain professionalism. Adhere to professional behavior and avoid gossiping or bad mouthing this individual because they'll use it against you. Number nine, seek feedback. So request feedback from your supervisor or your colleagues on how to deal with this uh, situation. Number 10, consider seeking external help. If this becomes unmanageable, you might need to get some external assistance such as counseling or mediation. Dealing with one of these narcissistic coworkers, it can be challenging, especially in a professional setting. So, you know, by implementing strategies such as boundaries, maintaining professionalism, and seeking support from HR or management, you can effectively manage the situation. Okay? You just got to stay calm, cool, and collected. Remember to prioritize your own well-being and your own mental health when dealing with these difficult colleagues. All right? And you can make it. That's our smart. For more tips on navigating the workplace, you know, relationships, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on our content for additional resources and advice on narcissism.